द्रोन पाटील म्यूट युअर सेल्फ फॉलो द प्रोटोकॉल म्यूट युअर सेल्फ एंड ऑल्सो म्यूट युअर व्हिडिओज राईट युअर नेम इन द चॅट बॉक्स so good morning all of you today we will start the practicals online practicals we will start already i explained 70 marks for theory 30 marks are for practical yesterday on the group i also sent the pdf copy of your practical handbook come journal it is also called as practical notebook you have to purchase that practical notebook from the uh, book depot or book store uh, its pdf is also available on the e bal bharti website you can download the pdf of that textbook from the e bal e bal bharti website if you don't find there already i have sent the copy to you ओंकार निळे सो वी विल स्टार्ट येस एनी वन टेल मी द स्क्रीन इज विजिबल और नॉट फ्रंट पेज ऑफ युअर केमिस्ट्री प्रैक्टिकल नोटबुक स्टैंडर्ड इलेवन वी हैव टू परचेस फ्रॉम द मार्केट हियर सी सेम notebook will be available so here we have to write your name name of the student the name of the junior college here we have to write the name of the junior college siangad college of arts science and commerce junior college ambikau bk complete name you have to write here then your class 11th division a uh, don't write roll number because roll numbers are not yet given then Uh, back side of this front page some general instructions are given safety guidelines in chemistry laboratory these guidelines are also written in chemistry laboratory so i will explain which are the very important guidelines required in chemistry laboratory these are the do's and these are the don'ts so first one read the chemical safety information carefully before using any chemical some chemical Uh, safeties are uh, given symbols are given on the reagent bottle so we have to read the chemical safety information carefully uh, how to use the different types of acids how to take the bases so these instructions are given in the laboratory always wear a apron or laboratory coat we have to purchase one lab coat or it is also called as apron uh, which is available in the uh, market so next practical on next friday we have to come with this uh, journal uh, this lab coat is compulsory for all then identify the safety equipments we have to identify the uh, equipments then use safety goggles wherever necessary this is not required because we are not doing the poisonous reactions or uh, any hazardous reaction in the laboratory so number 4 uh, go safety goggles are not required for 11th standard uh, for the graduation uh, bsc level and for the msc level this is required handle corrosive chemicals carefully like acids uh, phenols these are corrosive so you have to handle uh, all the acids and phenols very carefully uh this uh, number 6 instruction is for girls tie long hair back in the chemistry laboratory all the girls please 
Uh, pay attention to this uh, guideline. Uh, this instruction is very important. We have to tie your hairs back because in the chemistry laboratory, we are dealing with the different acids, different chemicals, uh, burners are there. So uh, accident may happen. So for the prevention, we have to tie your hairs. Then always wash your hands with soap before leaving the laboratory. In the laboratory, uh, storeroom is there. In that storeroom, uh, soap is kept for washing the hands. Or you can buy your own liquid soap. Uh, you never small sachets are available. So we can uh, bring these sachets. And before leaving the laboratory, this is compulsory. Then number eight, in case of any accident, if any incident or any accident is happen, sometimes the breakage is there, test tube will be broken, sometimes uh, different apparatus will be broken while hitting. Uh, if any accident is there, we have to notify the instructor immediately. Instructor means uh, who is conducting. Suppose I am the instructor, we have to inform me immediately, sir, uh, burn, so immediately we have to report me then number nine avoid direct contact with chemicals mute yourself ganesh shete follow the protocols don't disturb me avoid direct contact with chemicals if chemicals came in contact with your skin or eyes flush immediately remember this number nine point while taking the chemicals we have to handle the chemical bottles very carefully if the chemicals came in contact with your skin or eyes, we have to flush immediately with QPS amount of water, means large amount of water we have to take and contact your instructor. Immediately we have to contact me, sir, malasa sa dhale, acid bhaadale kiwa, if the chemicals handle asil, then immediately, in the chemistry laboratory, khup, uh, carefully kaam kare lagta, dangerous hash of the opener nahi me, but you should be careful. Because directly uh, we are dealing with the different chemicals. Some chemicals are very hazardous, poisonous. Uh, some uh, chemicals are corrosive. They can uh, they can come contact with your skin also. They can come contact with your eyes also. So headache, irritation, poisonous gases are coming. So you have to take care. Then I am uh, explaining these don'ts. Do not pipette out the solution with mouth. Remember, I will explain what is mean by pipette because in the, in the first experiment will be the apparatus introduction of different apparatus. In this, I will explain what is mean by this, this pipette. So remember this point, do not pipette out the solution with the help of mouth. Use of pro pipette bulb is recommended. When you are you are physically coming to the laboratory, I will explain what is mean by this pro pipette bulb. Uh, don't uh, casually dispose of chemicals down the drain. Means uh, if the reaction is completed, if any test is uh, completed, we have to drain the chemicals carefully. Don't casually uh, say basin me fake dia. It's not So you have. Attention should be proper attention. Uh, oh, chemical basin ke andar gaye ke nahi, uske upar thoda sa paani aapko flush karna hai. So, take it very seriously. Don't take it casually while draining, draining the chemicals. Then, do not eat or drink in the laboratory. Aap, aapko laboratory mein khane ke liye allowed nahi hai. Kuch paani peena hai to bahar aap... Uh, Apna bottle leke laboratory ke bahar ja ke aap pani sakte. Drinking and eating is not allowed in the laboratory. Do not play mad scientist. Uh, so this is not required to explain. You know, koi bhi chemical kis may be mix nahi karna hai. So scientist nahi banna hai laboratory. Remember, don't have hazardly mix chemicals. Means koi bhi chemicals kis may mix nahi karna hai. Kuch bhi incident ho sakta hai. So these are the some uh, do's and don'ts are given. Then, uh, this is a framework of your annual practical examination is given. Your annual practical examination kaisa rehega? Uh, it will be for three hours. Then total marks will be 30. 
there are uh, one long experiment that is qualitative analysis means titration is there this titration is compulsory for all or long experiment qualitative analysis in this qualitative analysis there is a analysis of salt salt you all of you know anyone can tell me what is mean by salt i am not talking about the table salt nacl nacl chhod ke mujhe ek example de do nacl yeah which one sir sodium nacl 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 chhod ke mujhe example chahiye nacl chhod ke calcium bicarbonate very good anyone very good sodium bicarbonate very good copper sulfate then different different types of so anyway bas 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 anyway anyway is not salt remember salt means it is a combination of cation and anion nacl suppose uh, na plus and cl minus na plus is cation and cl minus is anion so, so sir caco3 yes very good caco3 Cal calcium carbonate is also the salt ca2 plus and co3 2 minus so each salt is made up of yes, one, one cation and one anion remember so for the detection means the analysis of salt it is having the 10 marks means we have to detect one cation and one anion manje tumhala pariksha la kase dile jate ek salt dile jate ani tyachetun tumhala ek cation ani anion shodhaycha asto tyacha sathi veg vegle test hai te nantar apan bagnar hai तर इत पैलदा लक्षा गया कि दिस वन लॉन्ग एक्सपेरिमेंट इट इज हैविंग वन एंड हाफ आवर्स वन हावर एंड थर्टी मिनिट्स इट इज फॉर टेन मार्क्स दिस टेन मार्क्स आर ऑल्सो हियर डिटेल एक्सप्लेनेशन इज गिवन कंडक्शन ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट इट इज हैविंग थ्री मार्क्स देन ऑब्जर्वेशन हैविंग द फोर मार्क्स कैलक्युलेशन हैविंग द टू मार्क्स एंड रिजल्ट विथ प्रॉपर युनिट युनिट इज रिक्वायर्ड सो इट विल बी फोर प्लस थ्री सेवन प्लस टू नाइन प्लस वन टेन so this is the distribution of 10 marks is given for the analysis which analysis quantitative analysis quantitative analysis is different and qualitative analysis is different in case of quantitative analysis we are doing the titration and in the quantitative uh, sorry qualitative analysis we are doing the salt analysis salt analysis means first we have to do the preliminary test for one mark uh, preliminary test mein aapko identify karna hai what is the color the nature of the salt whether it is a crystalline or whether it is amorphous or whether it is a uh, hygroscopic manje the crystalline salt ahe ka tela pani sutlela ahe ka te check karayche only preliminary test means uh, we can only observe the salt it is for one mark then dry test for basic radicals and acidic radicals now i will explain what is mean by this basic radical and acidic radical basic radical means uh, we have to detect cation and acidic radical means we have to detect anion it is for two marks javelis apan hi salt analysis karnar hai tyavelis mi ajun tumhala explain karel pan he ata annual practical examination madhe tumhi lakshat gya dry test two mark detection of group In case of basic radical, we have to detect the group: zero group, first group, second group, third group. There are seven groups are there. So uh, entire explanation I will give when I will start the long experiment. So uh, your practical examination will be for thirty marks. Question number one: uh, A or B? Either A or B. It will be for ten marks. Then one short experiment will be there. Uh, within this 45 minutes we have to complete the short experiment it is for 5 marks 10 plus 5 is 15 uh, one activity we have to perform it will be 10 plus 5 plus 5 it will be 20 and then uh, viva based upon the experiment or activity you perform during the examination means your orals will be conducted these orals are for 5 marks so kitne ho gaye 10 plus 5 15 plus 5 20 20 plus 5 25 and these five marks for your certified laboratory journal means uh, this practical handbook come journal within that uh, handbook we have to write your experiment also so maximum 15 experiments and five activities should be performed during the year so completed journal it is having the five marks so total your practical will be for 30 marks in this uh, practical we have to perform two 
एक्सपेरिमेंट वन इज लॉन्ग एक्सपेरिमेंट एंड वन शॉर्ट एक्सपेरिमेंट एंड वन एक्टिविटी हे तीन गोष्टी तुम्हाला करायच्या एक मोठा एक्सपेरिमेंट करायचा आहे देन एक छोटा एक्सपेरिमेंट करायचा आहे आणि एक ऍक्टिव्हिटी परफॉर्म करायची आणि ओरल स्टेज दीज आर द लिस्ट ऑफ डिफरंट प्रॅक्टिकल इट इज गिव्हन एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर वन इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू द दिस इज इंडेक्स सेम इंडेक्स वी विल फाइंड इन दॅट प्रॅक्टिकल नोटबुक सो इन द इंडेक्स डिफरंट एक्सपेरिमेंट आर गिव्हन इंट्रोडक्शन टू द केमिस्ट्री लॅबोरेटरी दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट then the remaining experiment i will explain at the time of practical examination so in this introduction to the chemistry laboratory see this is experiment number 1 introduction to the apparatus which are used in chemistry laboratory so i will show which are the different apparatus which we have to use for 11th standard and 12th standard in chemistry laboratory student use different apparatus in for various experiments so you should know uh, there are the diagrams are shown here see this is a burette clamp i will show what is mean by burette what is mean by pipette uh, i am actually in the laboratory now uh, live i can show you live i can show you what is mean by burette or what is mean by burette clamp see live we can see this is a burette clamp see so this clamp this clamp is called as burette clamp and this is a burette stand you can you can see clearly this is a burette stand and this is a burette clamp where we have to add this is a burette so this is a burette with pinch cock is also there so we can attach here like this see so burette is attached to the here this burette is attached to here here this burette clamp this is a measuring cylinder आवाज येतोय का हो हो यस सर यस सर ब्युरेटचा आवाज येतोय का मी सांगत होतो त्यावेस हो सर हो आता हे बघा हे दिसतोय का तुम्हाला हे दिसतोय का आवाज येत नाही येतोय दिसत नाहीये नीट ब कारण मला तुम्हाला काय जे दिसतंय ते मला इथं दिसतंय माझ्या स्क्रीन वर हा सी दिस इज अ टेस्ट ट्यूब सी दिसतंय ना टेस्ट ट्यूब सो दिस इज अ टेस्ट ट्यूब दिस इज अ टेस्ट ट्यूब स्टँड इन द डायग्राम ऑल्सो इन द डायग्राम ऑल्सो वी कॅन सी ए टेस्ट ट्यूब अँड टेस्ट ट्यूब स्टँड इज गिव्हन हा मी फक्त डायग्रॅम्स दाखवतो आणि नंतर ज्यावेळेस तुम्ही लॅबमध्ये याल ना त्यावेळेस मी तुम्हाला सगळे एक्सपेरिमेंट नंतर दाखवतो ऍपरेटस ठीक आहे येस सर तुम्हाला डायग्रॅम्स वरून लक्षात येईल सी uh this is a burette clamp uh, different filter papers are available for the filtration purpose this is a wire gauze this wire gauze is used for heating purpose uh 
so this uh, wire gauze uh, we can see uh, here white colored spot is there this white colored spot is asbestos sheet asbestos sheet se kaam ka hai sir uniform heat provide karna mhanje tyachavarchi hai tyachavarche ja goshti apan khevu shakto heating la whatever the burette uh, sorry whatever the beaker is kept then conical cask is kept to get uniform heat this asbestos sheet it is called as asbestos sheet remember as was stored sheets ka kaam kya hai uniform heat provide karna so it is a wire gauze with asbestos center or it is also called as asbestos sheet kuna cha tari mic suru hai hi chukun riya riya charekar mute your mic then Uh, this is not required actually this is outdated uh, ring clamp we are not using this ring clamp uh, then so this uh, deflagating spoon is also not required for 11 standard then uh, this extension clamp is required then we have to extend the uh, burette clamp we are using this extension clamp because if this screw is um, if you lose this screw and tighten the screw now we can extend the clamp uh, then this is a sand bath which is required to heat the uh, chemicals uh, whose melting point is very less for example ether acetone alcohols for heating the uh, low boiling point chemical this sand bath is used for heating purpose then this is a crucible tongs it is also called as a uh, pair of tongs also it is used to pick up the hot material for example uh, if uh, you are uh, boiling the water and if we have to pour this water we have to use this crucible tongs or pair of tongs it is also called as pair of tongs manje marathi madhe sope bhashit tela apan ghara madhe garam vastu pakadayla jashi pakad vaparto tashi hi pakad ahe lakshat gya this is iron stand we can attach here this burette clamp also we can attach this extension clamp also this is a pinch cock this pinch cock is used for you know, the burettes this is a test tube brushes used to clean the test tubes uh, then these are the rings to cover the water bath this is water bath water bath is used again the sand bath and water bath these are same but sand bath is used for uh, heating the volatile solvents and this water bath can be used uh, to heat non volatile non volatile solvents means whose boiling point is more than uh, 100 degrees this water bath is used then uh, this is a tripod stand it is used for heating purpose this tripod stand then uh, test tube holder in our laboratory two types of test tube holders are uh, there test tube to hold the test tube this test tube holder is used and then this is a flame separator this is not required then bunsen burner bunsen burner it is required for the two years two years it will be required bunsen burner for heating this uh, this is the uh, gas tube here the gas tube is attached this is the base of the bunsen burner and from this is a barrel uh, this is a nozzle and this air vent uh, by using uh, by rotating this air vent we can adjust the flame uh, yellow flame and uh, uh, blue flame we can adjust the flames uh, when you came in the laboratory i will show the bunsen burner also here some glass wares are there so this is a, these are the beakers this is a 250 ml beaker this is 500 ml beaker this is a 50 ml it is very small beaker and this buckner funnel it is not required actually this buckner funnel is required for the filtration purpose under suction under vacuum under suction this buckner funnel is used but for 11 standard we are not using this buckner funnel uh, there's reagent bottles are used to keep different reagents for example dilute hcl uh, dilute uh, hno3 Uh, in the chemistry laboratory when you came the chemistry laboratory we will uh, i will show all these apparatus to you this is a round bottom flask uh, specially used for distillation purpose uh, whatever the solvents we have to distill out which are kept in this 
distillation flask or round bottom flask uh, there are different uh, sizes of uh, round bottom flask are available this is 500 ml uh, then 1000 ml uh, round bottom flasks are also available in the uh, laboratory this is a jaldas flask uh, we are not using for 11 standard uh, this is required uh, these are the measuring cylinders uh plastic measuring cylinders are also available in the laboratory uh, 100 ml then 10 ml measuring cylinders and uh, measuring cylinder made up of with glass both the measuring cylinders are also available in the laboratory this is required for you then these are the conical flask uh, 50 ml conical flask and this is a 200 ml conical flask which are useful for the titration purpose titration purpose means experiment number 1 that is a qualitative analysis qualitative analysis sathi aplyala he conical flask lagta see the structure of this conical flask the mouth is very small and the base is very big this conical flasks are used for the shaking purpose actually means drop by drop from the burette we are inserting the solution in this and we will shake it so while shaking the solution should not be come out that's why the mouth is very small we can see see the, this is the mouth and this is the base so that's why for that purpose the mouth is uh, very small and the base is very big this wash bottle is not required for the 11 standard actually a uh, filtration flask uh, when we are going to filter under suction this this buckner funnel this buckner funnel is fitted with this filtration flask and this uh this is attached to the vacuum this is attached to the vacuum actually these apparatus we are using uh for the graduation level and post graduation level this buckner funnel this wash bottle filtration flask this is not required for 11 standard uh, funnels are uh, required for the filtration uh, in this funnel uh, we have to uh, fit the filter paper and filtration we can do with the help of this funnel then droppers are used to take the different chemicals different reagents uh, then mortar and pestle actually this is uh, not required this is uh, required for the lab assistant to mix the mortar and pestle if uh, some of some the some of the chemicals are very uh, particle size is very large to make the paste or to make the powder this mortar and pestle is used also it is used for the mixing of the different uh, solid compounds then you operating dish or it is also called a china dish this is used for you know, the you operation purpose that's why it is also called as you operating dish you operation if you have to crystallize uh, crystallize out different uh, purification of solid from its uh, solution then we have to use this e operating dish for the e operation purpose you can e operate any uh, organic compound from this this is a crucible with lid this is a lid and this is a crucible which is required for the heating purpose this is not required for 11 standard but for the bsc msc level this is required then i am coming to the watch glass watch glass is required to watching the different crystals that's why it is called as watch glass uh then this is a guard tube guard tube is used for uh, assembly of distillation assembly then here uh this is a glass tube then this is a stirring rod mm, this uh, this is required for graduation purpose this volumetric pipette this volumetric pipette it is used for the titration purpose remember Uh, titration purpose this is used then thermometer to measure the temperature uh, this is the thistle funnel thistle funnel is again used for the uh, filling the solutions in the burette and this is the burette uh, already i show this is burette this is the pinch cock now uh, there are different burettes are available in our laboratory uh, 25 ml burette is available then 50 ml burette is available different burettes are available then and this assembly after finishing this uh, 40 minutes again we have to click on the same link so we will extend for 20 minutes uh, this is a lid 
this apparatus actually it is not used for 11th standard for the graduation purpose this is required so these are the some glass apparatus we are using in the uh, chemistry laboratory and these are the some uh, uh, other than glass the metal apparatus which are using in the laboratory then this uh, chart is very very important remember these are the international hazard symbols which are which are already printed on the reagent bottles this indicates cross mark indicates it is very harmful so these are the hazards or symbols already uh, printed on the different chemical bottles this indicates it is very harmful we have to take it very carefully this is inflammable means uh, it, it is a uh, easily catches fire so we have to see this different symbols on the bottles corrosive means it causes corrosion this is toxic toxic you know this is very poisonous explosive means uh, explosive means uh, you know uh, it can explode immediately then uh, this is oxidizing agent or this chemical is oxidizing uh, it shows such type of symbol and this is radioactive Uh, so these uh, radioactive chemicals or radioactive compounds are not kept in our laboratory these are kept in special store room is made for this radioactive element because it is very 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 dangerous it can cause this cancer if continuously radioactive uh, rays are bombarding with the bodies so such type of radioactive uh, chemicals or radioactive uh, compounds are not kept in our laboratory is the special laboratories are there in which this radioactive compounds are kept so i think uh, you understand these are the different symbols so while taking the reagents or while taking the chemicals we have to check this chemical is uh, in the which category it is kept whether it is harmful or whether it is inflammable whether it is corrosive or whether toxic explosive so this case sir we have to uh, yes bol bol sir we have to uh, sir we have to rejoin yes after 7 minutes 7 minutes are remaining now yes sir ha ah, yes after, sir ha ah, when the meeting will end again we have to join for 20 minutes okay yes sir ha ah. okay sir so uh, these are the different symbols which are used uh, internationally means all over the world these symbols are universally accepted just i want to check yes 74 students are there and only kiti mulani attendance dile 73 students are present here write your name in the chat box immediately otherwise you are considered as absent now now i will explain the use of measuring cylinder yes kadu mute yourself apa sagayna mute kele tumhi unmute karu shakat nahi shambhari vela mi sangitle tumhala protocol paalat jaava आता काय विचारायचं असेल तर चॅट बॉक्स मध्ये टाइप करायचं ओके द मोस्ट कॉमन ऍपरेटस यूज टू मेजर द वॉल्यूम ऑफ अ सोल्युशन से फॉर मेजरिंग द वॉल्यूम ऑफ अ सोल्युशन दीज आर द डिफरंट ऍपरेटस वी हॅव टू यूज the names are given measuring cylinder already i explain about this measuring cylinder it is used for measuring if you have to if you want to measure 10 ml if you have to measure 20 ml 30 ml 50 ml 200 ml uh, 400 ml 1000 ml 2000 ml so different measuring cylinders are available in our laboratory some of the measuring uh, the smallest volume we can measure with this measuring cylinder it is 10 ml 10 ml to 2000 ml 2 liter measuring cylinders are also available in our laboratory then 
सेकंड वन इज वोल्यूमेट्रिक फ्लास्क सेकंड वन इज वोल्यूमेट्रिक फ्लास्क जस्ट आई वांट टू चेक यस सो मेजरिंग सिलेंडर आई थिंक यू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द मेजरिंग सिलेंडर नाउ आई विल एक्सप्लेन दिस वोल्यूमेट्रिक फ्लास्क लेटर आई विल एक्सप्लेन so these are the four apparatus which are used for the measuring volume of the solution volumetric flask it is also there are also 100 ml volumetric flask 250 ml volumetric flask is there then third one is pipette and fourth one is burette uh, first we will discuss about this measuring cylinder just i have explained these are vertical cylindrical glass vessels these are made up of with glass also and these are also made up of with plastic there are two types of measuring cylinders available in our laboratory uh, which is having the different capacities smallest is 5 ml but 5 ml measuring cylinder is not available in our laboratory but uh, remember 5 ml measuring cylinders are also there but in our laboratory 10 ml measuring cylinder is there 25 ml measuring cylinder is available 50 ml is available 100 ml is available 250 ml is also available 1000 ml and 2000 ml is also available so it is uh, in this diagram it is 100 ml measuring cylinder uh, its uh, diagram is shown here then see this apparatus this this apparatus uh, which is having the long neck here and uh, the base is flat flat base such type of apparatus or uh, Uh, glass apparatus it is called as volumetric flask this diagram shows it is 100 ml volumetric flask this is a 100 ml volumetric flask these are glass vessels made up with only glass this is not available in plastic so these are glass vessels with flat bottom the bottom uh, 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 the bottom is flat so we can put on the table also we can put on the flat surface also Uh, it is having the long neck the neck is very long elongated uh, on which a mark is each to show the level yahan pe dekho yahan pe diagram mein uh, isme aapko dikhai nahi dega jab aap jab physically when you came in the laboratory physically we can see the ring is there each mark itching itching ring mark is there which show the level to which it is to be filled suppose we have to prepare 100 ml Uh, solution of uh, nacl 100 ml nacl solution aapko prepare karna hai so we have to take the any we have to add nacl in this and fill this volumetric flask up to this mark ata tumhi manal ki ithe kuthe mark diset nahi hai when physically you came in the laboratory you will see the itching mark here so up to this itching mark we have to fill the water and the volume it will be 100 ml so volumetric flask with uh, different capacities are available 50 ml volumetric flask but it is 50 ml is not available in our laboratory but 50 ml volumetric flask are also uh, present then 100 ml volumetric flask 250 ml then 500 ml 1000 ml so the role is same volumetric flask are used to prepare the standard solution now i am coming to this standard word standard solution means whose concentration is known jats ja solution cha concentration aplyala mahit aste tela apan standard solution asa mantu lakshat gya ite lilelech ai known concentration jats concentration mahit aste concentration manje tumhala explain karto mi parat join kara 1 minute raile म्हणजे ज्यावेळेस मीटिंग एंड होईल ना परत तुम्हाला जॉईन करायचं आहे मग त्यावेळेस मी तुम्हाला सांगतो की कॉन्सन्ट्रेशन कशाला म्हणते हां तोपर्यंत एक्सप्लेन करतो मी सो द मेन पर्पज ऑफ दिस वॉल्युमेट्रिक फ्लास्क इज टू प्रिपेअर द स्टँडर्ड सोल्युशन स्टँडर्ड मीन्स हुज कॉन्सन्ट्रेशन इज नोन सपोज Uh, concentration means uh, amount of solute dissolved in the solvent it is called as concentration concentration can be measured in molarity uh, molality uh, all these uh, 